Yo, yo, my sovereigns, what up? This is Boba Fett, Uncensored on the Internet, with episode 34 of Splinterlands 101. Joining us, as usual, co-hosts of the show, finest general who ever lived, Matt Clark. Howdy, howdy. Here's Matt Clark. He's one of the finest gentlemen that ever lived. The Geo of the Geotrix, Geotrix. Hello. And joining us back again, um, this guest, uh, tonight's guest, we had him on previously and we just got so into the conversation, all of a sudden the hour is up and it's like, well, I've still got all these questions down in the serviette to call. We didn't do any battles, <laughs> which is a show class. It's like, oh, got to get you back on, man. And so please welcome back to the show, Jagged. Oh, hello, hello. Hey, hey. It's, it's moved to technology now. We're technologically oh. the serviette. Yeah, I just got a couple of points this time because I, I know we'll get through it quick. But with the technology, uh, so, I mean, can you wipe your mouth with it? I could. <laughs> then I have to clean it. But <laughs> I think you can yeah, wipe your mouth on anything pretty much, yeah. It's like that joke. Um, what, can, what can you sit on, sleep on, and brush your teeth with? What? A chair, a bed, and a toothbrush. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was hoping for a bit more. Uh, sorry, yeah. sorry to disappoint. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. Yeah. Yeah. What? Um, what's what's made of leather and sounds like a sneeze? A shoe. A shoe. Okay. Yes. Right. Oh. <laughs> Unless you're vegan, in which, in which case it's vinyl, not leather. So. Uh. Ah, always spoilers. Too, ah. It, it, it all depends on the material, guys. You know. Yeah. 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 Materialistic <laughs> sort of point of view. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, so we would, great we to have, have Jagged, jagged back. <laughs> What's that? Great to have Jagged back. Let's do yes. some battles. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it went so good. it went so quick last time. Went quick. Yeah. Oh, actually, I was thinking this week about um. You know how like people use the Big Mac index for what things cost? You can actually do it with a Chaos Legion pack. So if you go to buy a coffee and it costs you around about the same as a pack, don't have your coffee. Save it up. Yeah. Because you can get end up with five, six packs by the end, end of the week. Yeah. Um, mm. Which which I was, I was just thinking today. I, I went to go and um, went to buy something and go, no, no, that, that's that's worth about five, six packs. <laughs> So yeah. it's putting everything into a uh, chaos pack economics. Yeah, Jerry and I do something like that with deck. Like, it's like we go go like do something like that. That's like you know, fifty k deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! It's like no, that could be some Ada. Yeah, Ada <laughs> deck. Right, yeah. yeah, whatever. We yeah, just getting out of that whole fear thinking. Like just com like when you look at something, you know, that's that's. That's deck. That's that's Bitcoin. That's SPS. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. lost my appetite for things that are in places. Like I say, something that's in a place, it's boring and dull to me. Like it's got a, an actual location. Yeah. Because um, yeah. you got to pick it up and then move it over there. Like it just seems really uh, backward. I, I like stuff that's everywhere now. Yeah. All right. So you you're lining up for the mRNA then, so you can upload your consciousness into the metaverse. <laughs> so, well, uh, no, we've got to keep got to keep that off, off our Splinterlands talk. That's in that's theory, a, a different channel theory, talk. That one. It yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny though, back like when transhumanism like first came out, you know, especially the sci-fi, um, you know, the, the geek world was like, oh, it's so cool, it's so cool, yeah. like you know, the concept, uploading like, consciousness. But you know, mm. now it's like all the stuff that's going, and you think, well. The type of people that are going to be controlling that exactly. reality that you're going to be living in, it's like <laughs> that would be like just a stuff of nightmares, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah. but you can see it'll end up being something like you know, uh, Johnny Mnemonic, where we just use there's like mules or some sort of uh virtual industry where, they, where that pleasure of where you're thinking I'll be in a virtual world and having fun, it'll get turned into a corporate, corporatized slave. Yeah, where, you know, you can't get that job unless you have that extra gig of memory in your brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and in You're that right. uh, virtual world, you'll be working twelve hours a day. You'll be paying fifty percent tax. Uh, <laughs> You're right. There's no, 
yeah, it's not going to be different. Upgrades, certain upgrades will be uh, allowed for like tiers of people. Certain yeah. upgrades, yeah. Certain social like, credit, the social exactly. credit rating. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've just described Splinterlands in a nutshell that, you know, we're all different leagues exactly. and you have to grind. And those of us who are poor players, our ECR goes right down and takes us forever just to go from silver to gold. That is literally you know, hierarchy. Matt's, Matt's sitting there going, oh, should I go to champs two or just stay on three? <laughs> <laughs> All different tiers, uh, yeah. man. <laughs> what I lack in talent, I make up for in depth of cards. So, yeah, yeah that's that's. I just throw a massive collection at people and hope that they're overwhelmed by that. And sometimes it works, but I'm not a great player. Well, you, you just take the wise Boba Fett way of saying, I like being in bronze. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm content. <laughs> yeah, I don't go any want... higher anyway, but, you know. Yeah. Gold, gold is my playground at the moment. Gold. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a, I've just got back into gold three this for the season. Um, mm. I'm so I'm this far away from it. Yeah, I'm yeah. almost there as well. And yeah. it, it takes when you're finishing gold, it, it takes a bit to you know, you're getting silver chests for the first three four days of the season, um, and you know, the, the silver chests come slower if if you're your season rating is, is gold. So it's always nice to get back into gold. And what I really, really love about getting back into gold is my Silver Shield Assassin gets poison again. That's like, that's the big mm. win of getting back into gold. Poison on my Silver Shield Assassin. Yeah. Yeah. I, I miss being in diamond and, and then going down to gold and going back up. I've I found that really mm. hard because last season I stayed in gold and ended up in silver and I'm finding it it's taking longer. To get yeah, back up. yeah. Um, if if you yeah, finish in the card one league, when you're in the lower league, it takes a lot more points to get a chest in a lower ah. league than the one you finished in. So, like my case, I'm finishing gold. While I'm in silver, yeah. it takes a lot more points to get a silver chest than it does to get a gold chest. Yes, yeah, it's a, a yeah. lot of slugging to get there, and the rewards aren't as juicy as you you get when you're in gold or diamond. Yeah. So I'm sort of yeah. like thinking I'll try to get back up to the diamond and stick around there. Yeah. So a lot, the rewards seem um, better. And the, oh, and I get used to using the certain cards with their abilities. Yeah. Which going back to silver, it took a little bit of adjustment. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's, it is difficult. Just, it's like just one or two abilities that you just, you just don't have. <laughs> Um, Even with the focuses, like I'll, I'll drop down into into gold for you know the very start of the season, then I'll get anti melee. I'll go to play my serpentine soldier, and he doesn't have thorns, so I'm not getting yeah. the anti melee thorns points from that. So that's another reason that yeah, I like to get to diamond and just stay there, um, or maybe even hit champ uh, for and, most of the season. And to yeah. get to champ, do you have to have a llama and a kitty and a yeah. um, Yoden? Is that yeah, a there's, must? There's, well, there are people who can sneak in with with uh, less variety of cards and less of those glamorous summoners, but they tend to sneak into champion in the last couple of days. Whereas okay. I'll generally get into champ three year within within about the halfway mark, and then I might sneak into champ two by the end of the season. So I spend yeah. sec the second half of the season in champ in champ three, but most people who do don't have those cards necessarily. You find that. Uh, just from power creep, they're able to get an edge in um, by beating somebody like me in champ three, <laughs> who's not very good but has the cards. They're able to, to get an edge in and sneak into champion before the end of the season. But uh, you, it really depends how far into the season we're talking about. I couldn't hit champion now. Um, I'm in diamond two now, I think, maybe pushing for diamond one. If I made a serious attempt at champion, I would just be on 50% ECR for the next four or five days. It's almost pointless to try this early. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's now that I've got my Kelia to level six, it's uh, <clears throat> discovered it, like a whole bunch of abilities in my water cards that um, yeah. I haven't been able to use before. Cause same like, when I got awesome. Tars Tarsa to six, that was good. Um, but I've, I've, it must just have a better water hand because now that Kelia is sick, like, my Wave Smith has got Dispel. Uh, actually, what's really funny is because my Alric is still level four. So I've got level six Kelia. Alric four, and depending on the rule set, sometimes I go with Kelia, and it's like, what? I'm just looking at the rule set, going, why hasn't my Wave Smith got um, dispel? And it's like, ah, because Alric's only four. Um, but yeah, I bought um, a five BCX Alric. That was my my big splurge out. I actually 
sold from my ADA um, because a single BCX Alric is $48, but there was a five BCX Alric where it, he worked out at $25 a BCX. Awesome. And I ah, thought yeah. that's what that's like so worth it. Mm. Um, so Alric is currently two BCX short of level five. Um, but it's the same situation. I don't want to buy two level one BCXs at forty eight dollars each. Um, so it's going to be a little, so rather than just get into level five, I probably I'm looking a little bit down the track, uh, probably buying another you know five or higher BCX because you no know, double the price per BCX it just mm -hmm. makes no sense to just buy a single BCX. Um, if you could no, get him to I'd level six. Be... Well, it's, I have I have to because I just love him so much. Yeah. And in in the water rule set that plus one <laughs> absolutely. Is, and I'm like forget no, especially now Nerissa, I use her a lot. Like with with Arik, that's that's five magic damage oh, she, she's yeah. hitting for. Whereas at the moment she's only hitting for four with the plus one yeah. from Arik. Just so, her speed's a bit low. That's the only problem with her because they had yeah. an opponent today. They just missed several times. Um, yeah. But Magic yeah, so doesn't was miss. A one. Yeah. With, I think um, the opponent was at, was at like, um, my card was at like eight speed. And so she was missing multiple times. Yeah. Which was, yeah. Which was good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, had, I, I noticed I had, in the market, there's a, a lot of variation in, in price. When someone's selling a higher level card, the BCX will be very attractive. Yes. And mm -hmm. Instead of yes. slugging away at singles. Yeah. yeah, which is why I, I got the five BCX Auric. Yeah. I had a battle earlier today. Um, it was a super sneak. So they, they just assumed I'm going to go uh, heavy on melee, I guess. But they used um, uh, the old school death minus one melee. Who's he? Yeah. Um, Intar Mortalis. Yes. So used him. And also in the deck, there were three cards with demoralize. So I was demoralized <laughs> four times uh, in that hand. So, oh no. So, yeah, I <laughs> got smashed. That, needless to that's say. Cool. That's a cool part about the game, though. Someone picks a counter perfectly. You know, yeah. Yeah. It, it's fantastic. But that's where going back to um, Matt saying, like, you need certain cards to be in a, the, higher, <laughs> the highest leagues. Um, yeah. Is that like similar to like basketball where elite players are skill, have to have a certain level of skill? Whereas when you're in your more amateur classes, you can get away with being a hack, which I, I guess the 80% 80, 80 of the players are at the moment. I use the comparison of, of motor racing, right? So yeah. bronze would be go-karting right the way up to champion would be Formula One. So you need to have the equipment, you know, the really, really expensive equipment plus yeah. some natural talent to be uh, competitive in each of those leagues, yeah. each of those tiers of, of competition. And in each tier, of course, the crowds get bigger and the prize money gets bigger and the, the fame and glory gets bigger. But it's also the speed and it's more overwhelming and, and the like. So there are people who are incredible at go-karting who could beat Formula One drivers because they are completely focused on go-karting and they're your bronze silver guys who could beat me because they're, they, they live in that place. The Blue Hats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Somebody like Blue Hat, Andrew, who we're talking yeah. to. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I really prefer the, the Formula One comparison or the motor racing comparison because it also, it, it captures the possibilities of this environment. So from an outside perspective, you'd say, well, Formula One is a Ponzi scheme, right? Because there's no outside money coming in. You're just relying on people coming in to watch or whatever, buying tickets. What, what's actually going on with motor racing is there's advertising coming in. And that's where I've said from the start with Splinterlands, the capacity to have outside organisations come in and sponsor tournaments means that we have a source of outside money, which means we're not all just, you know, uh, taking money off the new guy and redistributing it to the, to the existing player base. So we're, we're in that regard, we're very similar to, to motor racing. And also there are all sorts of different ways to to attach yourself to this and have a profession around this. There's people that stream Splinterlands gameplay. There's people that, uh, there's uh, Rosie who just writes up the town hall 
minutes, there's people who work in tech support, there's all sorts of, and just like with motor racing, there are there are jobs that nobody would have expected, the hot dog vendor who's outside the front or people scalping tickets, or there's, there's so many different jobs. Very few of the jobs are actually racing the cars. You know, the, mm -hmm. most industry, of the jobs are industry, around that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's an industry growing up. And that's what I see Splinterlands as becoming is this big industry where there's so many different ways to, to make a living that you could just be a landlord just renting out your cards, like the guy who owns the, the factory that, you know, he doesn't race the cars himself, but he owns the factory that makes the, the carburetors, for example. And that's where I see this whole thing going is this huge, big um, uh, industry. And with all this money coming in from advertising as the eyeballs arrive, and then, um, you know, like you're saying, at different tiers, at different levels, if you prove yourself at silver, then, and this is where SPS staking is really exciting, if you prove yourself at silver, then people will look, notice that to be on the lookout and they'll go, this is a talented young driver, right? He's, he's doing great in the go-karts realm. Let's see what he's like up the food chain. And so they stake SPS on him. Now he knows with all this SPS staked on him, if he just rents some cards, right? He doesn't need to own them. He just needs to rent them, just speculate on back himself. He can now go into gold and prove that he's a talented driver in gold. And then the staking stays and more people stake on him because they go, this guy's got talent. Now he can back himself into diamond and rent diamond level <laughs> cards, right? And so now he's gone from nothing to superstar without fronting up any of his own dough beyond, you know, the original uh, starter pack or the summoner spell book. But because there are people out there looking for talent, Sponsors. just like there are scouts looking for talented baseball it's players. Like college, in college basketball in, in the NBA. Drafting. Exactly. Exactly. And the same. What I like about your analogy, one is is the scope of opening it up to the mainstream, which is good. Mm. Yeah. And the second part is, is that you emphasize the sport that we stole from Adelaide, which is awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> too soon, man. Too soon. Ninety five was, you know. <laughs> No, we we got we got long memories here because we got nothing else to do. You know, we just got the latest Mad Max movie, the, the Beyond Thunderdome. So we're, you know, we still remember '95 with the uh, yeah yeah the outrage. Yeah, yeah. And yeah then sitting things. there eating the member berries. Remember the Grand Prix? Remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember the Grand Prix. I remember. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. When the main street of Adelaide actually had more than five cars a day going up and down. <laughs> yeah. They had the Grand Prix. Oh, this is killing me. Yeah, yeah, the I, Grand I Prix used it. to be in Adelaide. Yeah. Okay. I love that you're throwing shade on Adelaide. Two generations ago. But the You don't even know the name the of any main road. <laughs> you're, you're like, oh, we're, we're the main road in Adelaide. No, not <laughs> Grateful Adelaide, Street. Not without. Adelaide government has said they want to go 100% green, but we also want the motorsports back. So, like, that kind of, like, makes a lot of sense. That's our politics today. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly right. So, what is the main street of Adelaide, Matt, for the, yeah. the, for the offic Adelaide aficionados out there? You would, you would probably say King William Street would be would be the main one. That's north, south, right through the middle of the city. Ah, oh, so you can't um, even think of your own street names. You've got to borrow street names from Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have so. <laughs> is there another one in Melbourne? Is there actually we got um, Melbourne CBD? The, the four main streets is uh, King, William, Queen, Elizabeth. I say um, King, William, Queen, Elizabeth. Never. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. on on the um depth of the game, I was thinking also this week about like you know, the YGG guild have numbers yeah. of guilds and it's all becoming all um. Uh, like a syndicate, so they're all th yeah. that way. They'll be able to um, bring in together, uh, bring in revenue, and then redistribute it where it's needed within their their realm, I guess. And that's kind of like, I was thinking like it's sort of like wants to become the guild of guilds. It's and and that's another interesting path where the guilds needs uh, the brawls need attention, which will, which is probably on their I think on their list to be worked upon. And then you have more people saying. Oh, there's cards I can get. There's um, merits, um, all these things on that side of, of the world. And then um, you have guilds can incorporate in within those um, schools that people invest in. You know, those big investors bought like a million packs of cards and then they help um, generate yeah. um, teams in, in third world countries or Victoria yep. would be good. Um, and, and that <laughs> way... Republic um, of Danistan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
and and that way we can create um again it, it it's um what do you call it? it uh, it's it's creating wealth of thin wealth, I guess, because you're generating an interest, a core base, and which will generate an income, which again gets redistributed as well, which is what what the um, I guess the taxation system is meant to do, yeah. you know, in its in its uh, pure form, is to help um, redistribute and and to uh, rejuvenate and to it, keep it fix the roads. <laughs> yeah well again yeah that shows you that it, that the system's broken you know i mean that's yeah, yeah. and not road works for what two three years at the same yeah. spot and not get yeah, anything but, done but it's market forces really i mean that's what you want driving the splinterlands economy if people are interested yeah. in in brawls it'll generate business opportunities and players and in, yeah. basically yeah. an industry there'll probably be a yeah. splinterlands college you know within the next couple of years an economy within an economy within an economy. Within yeah. An economy. And, and, and for those who don't like um, crypto because of its volatility, to me, that's where the attraction is. Yeah. That you can, yeah. you can put money in, in deck or SPS or anything really. Mm. And it has a chance of growing. It's way more Especially, fun, isn't it? Yeah. And it, it's got a community behind it. Mm. Um, you know, like I think it's the OCD have come out with their, um, um, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, collaboration because they're trying to create a store as uh, that decentralized storage for three speak and, and so is it linux 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 they posted on their discord i think today um okay but yeah so again that's another layer you know which is a device that you use is three speak um you know and that you want that to get better because you want it to be better than youtube so it's like you know, ipfs it, hosting is it yeah, it's basically um, it, it's a coin that you can then delegate to um, the Larynx I, I, coin. Yeah, Larynx. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure. I just read a little bit before this came on, and uh, I was okay. just looking at the wallet. They put a link to how you can get it and delegate it to a, a like a witness, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So right. That, I that whole ecosystem it, is yeah. that whole is staggeringly complex. I tried to get my head around the Larynx token and all the different sub tokens and they are really and they're, they're i like knowing that there's smarter people on it than me and these guys are literally all over it um so yeah larynx and the the, the different different uh, speak tokens and the like definitely something to keep an eye on i think i get the impression it might be another year or two before things really get moving because there is just so much to build but they are they're really doing promising things so i've taken all my larynx uh, all my airdrops and i've uh, followed that guide and I'm staking them on uh, Chris Rice was the only witness name that I recognized in the list. So Okay. Uh, and I haven't done anything with, with my larynx airdrop yet. Um, we'll have to talk about that later. Um, yep. You can sort of point me in the right direction and um, yep. might as well be doing something with I, it. Yeah. I would like to know. Yeah, that'd be a good one to have yep. a discussion on as well. Yeah, because I have no idea about it apart from reading yep. the post today. Yeah. Well, do you know no, enough um, about it to talk about, Matt, or is this just something we can drop into Discord later? Yeah, we, I can I can put some details in the um, in in the post when we yeah just just tap me on the shoulder and I'll, I'll get the details and I'll dump it in the post. So look below if you're watching. Yeah, look below and we'll make sure we'll make sure what to do is in there. So yeah, so if we just confuse the hell out of you and you're going like what WTF or whatever, uh, yeah, check check the blog section and uh, we'll 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 find we'll find something out <laughs> before Friday to, so that you can you know, have something to look at. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, there's a lot of opportunity in crypto. Um, you know, in Splinterlands is is one of them, which has so many different uh, facets and faucets, and it just just mm -hmm. amazing. It just blows my mind because I I put some money across, and I'm just trying to think. I bought some packets, and then I'm thinking, oh, I might keep some in Hive because Hive might do a, a thing or two soon, and yeah. and then I got like, well, how much deck should I buy? And you know, you know, SPS. So well, I think I've got enough of that. Or do I, you know, just there's a handful to wrap your mind around, you know. Yeah, yeah, because really I, I like the cards on the market. Every time I see the like the, the um, revealer that drops under five dollars in gold, I'm like, ooh. But now he's bumped back up again, and and I, th I think I saw a gold dragon about a month ago it was at like twenty five hundred dollars. I'm like, oh, I don't really have the funds available. But then it yeah. jumped up back up to the high rank rate again, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. Then it got come down again at like four thousand. I'm like, nah, way out now. You know but what? It, even these like rares and um, 
other cards on like the that were tri- cheap like there's a few of them just popped up out of nowhere like out of nowhere like xenoph monk archer um the card um that you had matt or you bought up and you uh pushed the price to what two bucks or something <laughs> yeah. the lava spider i think in right. world <laughs> lava spider is pretty cool yeah he's got snipe yeah yeah, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember why I bought him now. Gee, that's yeah. funny. I think yeah. I bought I him mean, because he's yeah. he goes well with uh, he'll go well with yeah with Yasik, the Conqueror. Yeah. I've sort most of my moves recently have been around around uh, uh, you know whatever's going to work well with Yasik. The next okay. summoner. Mm. And, right. Yeah, cards that have a, a multiple effect like um, knockout or poison, something that gives you an added advantage. <clears throat> um, they always. I liked Haunt, Haunted Spider when it was cheap. Um, but I think that's pushed back poison? up a little bit. Yeah, poison. Yeah, especially yeah. in the beta card was was good. Yeah. And there's just certain cards that I like personally, as well as the functionality of the card. Yeah, yeah. and uh, um, yeah, there's a, there's a, a lot of cards. So I, now I yeah. think we have to talk about the SPS ranked reward overhaul. When is that? Yes. By the, by the time this comes out, it'll already be like three days. Like it's. It's happening in a few hours from when we from when we from when we're talking right now. Uh, okay, it's going to swap. I'm I'm recharging my ECR right now so that um, when when it does happen, when the when the current uh, upcoming maintenance window happens, which is less than 24 hours, then uh, I'll be ready with full full ECR to go in with uh, SPS rewards Beauty. instead of deck. Right. So yeah, it's pretty good. And, it, and it's a capped amount yet per league. Is it for Sorry? the season? Is there there's a certain amount that gets rolled? Can be um, one during a during a season. Yes, yeah, there is. There's yeah. there's a um, I'm not sure if it's per block or per day or or per season. Even I think it's I think it's per block. New SPS issue per block, um, and then it looks at the past 24 hours and then your R shares and and the like. So if you're um, <coughs> whereas deck was more uh, leverage based on the price at least recently. So if the deck price is really high, they print a lot more of it and distribute it during battles. And when it's low, they print a lot less of it. Whereas SPS is a fixed supply, like you said, uh, yeah. where it's, I'm not sure if it's weekly, daily, monthly, but it is a fixed supply and whoever's playing gets it and whoever's not playing doesn't. Mm. My ECR um, is pretty good at the moment because I've got that focus. Um, I, I can't remember what it's, um, what it's called, the one I, I shared earlier. Um, it's one of the rarest ones of all. You need, like, you need Monster Smasher or Kill. Uh, and it's like hardly any of my cards have got it. And so far, I haven't had any focus points at all for the focus. Um, so, which, you know, if you, I mean, I'm still getting like some a, a, A's and B's, gold foils. So the bar's moving, but I'm not accumulating chests because i'm not doing i haven't got the cards to actually do the focus that i'm on so i haven't you been have, playing uh, as much exploits, exploits that's exploits. it yes so it's a press yep. giant killer death blow and knockout and they're sort of those higher tier sort of slightly rarer more niche yep. abilities and they tend to be the ones that come in later on as, as a as a card levels as well so exactly you see them so, a lot more in diamond than you will in, in gold man i don't even pay attention to most of the focuses these days <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't. I just play, and I, you know, the chest just. Yeah, I think yeah. that's good not to be overly focused on the focus because mm. you can get distracted and play some really bad hands in a row. Yes, so, and I've done that. Yeah. Like number of yeah. times I've <laughs> I've used wings when I've got flying focus, um, and you no, know, like for example, I might play my Pelicor Deceiver or just rather than my cursed Windicu just because it's got wings and it costs me yeah. the battle. So. Yeah, it's, it's a trap, I think. It's a little, little yes. bit of a trap there. Yeah, unless it's you Earthquake, certain... then, then, you know, go for it. But, yeah. Because yeah. you get a certain vibe when it's at a certain amount of mana, you'll say, I'll use, you know, water. Or you, you get you go, I'll use these combination of cards. Yeah. yeah. I think that, that works well for me. I don't know if you guys and have even, the same. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even with the focus, like, I read them again and again, and every time I read them, I forget again. Yeah. So there's no point in me just even looking to see yeah. what that focus represents and what yeah. ability. You know, there's a little 
you know there's a little icon up the top now when you're picking your um picking your team yeah to remind you what it is the screen there's a little icon that you can yeah. actually and you can mouse over it and it will tell you what what abilities you're looking for i do it almost time for that. Yeah. yeah but once once you, you start picking the, cards uh, in a different headspace you know so yeah. you start putting in sneaks in in fog of war and um you put in your healing cards when there's no healing and you use um how what's palladius the life guy when is unprotected and just you just yeah you just get in that mindset you look at the rule set and you think okay and then you start picking your cards and it's, it's just gone <laughs> you know that's that's another thing that i think is going to be a uh, a new uh, profession that'll spring up around this is actually uh coaching where you'll get somebody like myself who i just feel like i'm making dumb mistakes but i can't sort of narrow down necessarily what they are mm -hmm. If I had somebody who was very talented with an analytical mind. Analyzing not, your games. Yeah. The feedback. And I said, look, go through, or he came to me and said, look, I'll go through your last thousand matches and I'll find trends that you're getting wrong, things that you're mixing up that you're not getting, concepts that you're not understanding that your opponents are, and then came back to me with a big report. I would definitely throw a few hundred bucks at him for that because it's worth it to me in the long term to, to, to completely change, you know, and I can then go through and, and internalize his list of suggestions that says, look, you're using a second tank too often in low, low amount of matches and you're costing yourself uh, damage output. That means that you're not actually um, hurting your opponents mm -hmm. hard enough to, to win the match. And so having your second tank there is overkill and he's just doing nothing. Or, um, you know, you're, you're spreading, spreading damage out too much. You're, you're doing sneak and snipe and opportunity in yeah. too high a mana match. And that's okay in a low mana match where you've only got fewer opponents and you can do that. But in a higher mana match, that tends to be a mistake. And that, you know, so that's things smart. that personal trends trainer over the last thousand, yeah, a personal trainer, exactly. And I can yeah. see that being a huge industry, you know, because especially when there's guys who have a lot of money and a lot of, um, I guess, prestige tied up in the game where they really want to win tournaments and they've got a lot on the line and they want to win the brawl for the guild, to have a guy come along and go, right, here's what you specifically are doing wrong um, based on the last 2,000 matches of yours, that would, that's, that, that would be huge, I think. So we see that springing up, and obviously the better they are, the more they can, the more they can ask. So Maybe they can be a, matter of time. a bot service. I don't think a bot yeah. could do that because... You get the, it's just the information. You get the best of the best for each of the leagues and each of the of, of um, the, the match uh, things, you know, and you get like what the best of the best do, you get a range of them, you put into information and feed it to the bot. And maybe if the bot's good enough, it can tell you, hey, uh, you fucked up here, this is screwed up. You shouldn't have put this here. Yeah, I maybe. think the best of, best of esports, they do that. So like that I mentioned last time about Dota 2, they have the same, that's where I, always think um Splinter Lands will go to, but most of the esports and and most um major sports all have that same type of structure. They have coaching. Matter of, um, yeah, I think that's wow. yeah, definitely a way to go. That's when you'll know when um Splinter Lands has made it. Yeah. When you do have uh you know it's coaching and um mm. all that type of thing and a a analysts there'll be uh, commentary You're during right. the game. Yeah. You're right. That'd be well, we do that already. We're already doing the commentary during yeah. the games when we had a, a battling. Yeah. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. 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 Straight away, Matt goes, nah, I think Geotrix has lost this one. And Geotrix goes, yeah, yeah I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get Roy and HG on the show to uh, to comment on, on a battle or something. Are they still around, those guys? I haven't listened to Triple J for, for so long. Um, yeah, not, does anyone know um, who I'm talking good. about, Roy and HG? Yeah, yeah, they, oh, really? they did the Olympics. They did the Olympics for a while. Yeah, they used to do the they Aussie rules or something. Um, football yeah. on the weekends and and the that other silly game that they play up north. Um, yeah. You know, you run one way and throw the ball the other way. Um, but yeah, they used to like for the um, state of origin matches. Like the the big thing was like watch it on TV, but turn the volume off and and tune into Roy and HG. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, question on the the hive resource credits. The amount of hive that you have influences how many, how much hive how power many RC you have. Hive power. It's got to be staked. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and it gives you. 
Okay. So that gives you the RC, how much high you have, have stake. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so, so really a new player getting into it and using peak monsters may have a, a different experience than someone who has a, a lot more hive staked. Yeah, so what, what happens is if you if a new player arrives and they battle a lot and they chew through their RCs, Splinterlands mm -hmm. will, will detect that and it'll say, oh, there's been a problem, try again, when you try to submit a, um, a new custom JSON transaction, which is the way Splinterlands interacts with Hive. When you go and try and uh, submit that new transaction and you've run out of RCs, Splinterlands detects that because you're trying to do the transaction through their site and they will delegate that account more RCs. And then again, if it still runs through even the, the larger amount of RCs, then they'll delegate more. There's a, there's a cap to that, obviously. If, however, yeah. you hit your limit while you're using something else, like Peak Monsters, for example, then you'll just have to wait. Like there's no there's no automatic delegation that goes on. So Splinterlands did that to, to make sure that the players aren't affected. But if you're using Peak Monsters, I guess the expectation then is that it's a bit more of a tool for more professional players that are more branching out and more familiar <clears throat> with the ecosystem. And that's when you start looking after your own uh, resource credits. So RCs right. are interesting. The, the more Hive's power you have, so staked Hive that takes that's locked away for 13 weeks, yep. the more, or is it, five, was it four weeks now? No, it's still 13 weeks. It is still 13, yeah. You're right. yeah. Steam 13. changed to four, but Hive stayed with the 13. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the more of that you have, then the more total RCs you have, but your total RCs will regenerate from 0% up to 100% over five days, no matter how many you have. So okay. uh, I, ha I, have a, I have a heap. So when I do a, a transaction, it takes just as many of my RCs as anybody else. But for me, it's, a, it's a, like a fraction of a percentage and it's yeah. back within 10 minutes or something. Whereas for somebody oh, okay. else, it might the same transaction might use 5% of their RCs. Uh, it's yeah. going to take several hours to come back. So yeah, well, I, I got a, a second account to put, just trial, just using that account to rent because I think um, you guys do that sort of thing. And then Flex, I open yeah. up packs, open up packs, trying to merge the cards into you know, different levels, and I just keep running out of RC because I've only got a very small amount of hive in that account. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just I'm finding it very painful because I, the action that I thought I'd be up to now, I've got to probably it'll take like two, two, three, four months. No weeks, probably, you know, because I'm at Ages. like, um, I've hit 0% multiple times. I'm just like, okay, so now I know it's um, five days. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Geo got me on to uh, Splex Gollum for rentals because yeah, that's, just... oh, that's, that's one of my plans. Yeah. To jump yeah. into that. Yeah. I've been, and I was just... interested, you know, before you say that, Bob, uh, I was introduced to Splex as well. And then those were introduced with Splex. It's just this ongoing, <laughs> like, you know, like, someone tells someone else and they all jump on board it's like you know the train yeah how, how are you finding the results yeah so um i put all of my spares onto splex column um because i just got so slack with the renting and then at this point i just i'd just stop doing it basically so every day uh you gotta pull it off and you gotta wait for the cool down put it back up and you know, the, the fluctuations uh -huh between seasons so just put it all on splex column and they take their 10 percent every day um but yeah just, just put them all there and forget about it so i'm getting about 500 deck a day at the moment but obviously that's going to go up as we start you know approaching the end of season um but yeah just just put it on forget about it and geo was talking when he first about rcs and i was like rcs like no it's like you know but yeah it, it really is uh, an issue because it's working off of your account i guess because i had i think 30 of 35 hp in my alt account and so i just checked to see and my rcs were down to 14 percent i don't know how many days it was to recover so I delegated an extra 50 HP from Boba Fett into my alt account just to let the golem keep doing its thing. But yeah, I, I like it because um, I just put my spares on and my betas, if they're lower than my alphas, because uh, I, I keep all my alphas. So even if I've got an alpha that's lower than my beta, I keep it because I play the alpha only tournaments. Um mm. So just, just my spares, uh, cards that I've got that 
uh, I need more of, like rewards cards. No, they're not ready exactly. to level up yet. All that. Just put them all onto the old account, forget about it, and pulling it about 500 deck a day. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Just doesn't yep. require you, just, you rent out the whole that whole account? Is yes. It, can you yeah. stop specific cards if you want? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, hold on one sec. Let's have a look. Um, Honestly, it, it, it's a time it's a time saving thing. All right, so yeah, so here we go. You get um you get an invoice every day, but then you require that you pay it once a week, um, and they take ten you know, percent. You get you get a notification in Discord as well. Um, so you click on your card, and then your little box there, so you can untick the box if you don't want it to be rented. So what, what's the paid? What's the paid off? Um, uh, whoops, I put a re that. I hope I didn't lose. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, okay, Gio, you had an answer for that. Um, but I think it's like the rent that you've earned from that card is enough to pay for it or something. No, um, it's showing ah, you yeah. how much yeah. rent you get for that card and how long it will take at that rate to pay off that card. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck me then. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's it. not like, you know, you don't owe anything on, on the for it type thing. It's just a, a mathematic. Um, there's a couple of things in there weren't overly intuitive. Um, so I'm still playing with it type thing. But I have actually invited the dev of the, the bot to actually come on the show for a Q&A. So... Um, G love the name Gene Pool Chlorinator. I mean, <laughs> what a great <laughs> name! Um, so if he gets back to me, we might get him on the show for a bit of a, a Q and A. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Just the fact that put it up there and forget about it. Yeah, the rental bots miss actually. This, sorry, the, the rental bots actually are, are a little bit, I guess, unrefined at the moment. So the reason they burn through your RQs is that they constantly look at the market and then they'll relist your cards for what the what the bot thinks is a realistic price and that relisting choose through your rcs so yeah wow. i have an account that's uh Kyo is is uh has access to and he's been uh renting or listing for rent my cards and i have probably 900 cards on there of all sorts of different uh, shapes and sizes and additions mm -hmm. just spares i'm not using and uh that has i've just checked it's got 300 hp delegated to it and it was down to 25% and then down to 15% when he was wow. updating every half an hour or so. Yes. Now he's wound it back and he said, I'm only going to update, I'm only going to relist every, I think, four hours. And now the RCs are coming back again. So that's 300 HP, but across, you know, several, probably close to a thousand cards. Yeah. Uh, but if you, it's how, it's how frequently they relist them. And I think that needs to be refined. You yeah. might find that things like Splex and, and Kirikis and other, other services are actually um, in time, they will look at how many RCs are in the account and only update uh, frequently enough so that it never runs out of RCs. So yeah. if you want to have your card prices updated more frequently, then you need to delegate more RCs to that account and then the bot will detect that it has more RCs and then it will more frequently update the prices. Yeah. What's that other, what's that other rental site you said? Geo oh, Kier Kiss. He's he's just a he's a fellow Aussie. Uh, but okay. he's he's just a just a he doesn't sort of he does the the reward cards and the season uh, season report cards. Splinter stats. Um, but he, he, yeah, he does that. Yeah, he does the the yeah. the uh, how many reward cards have been printed. You would have seen that um, that page. The print rates of all the different reward cards. So he he carries all that. But he and I are pretty close. So he's been trialing this and sort of using my cards to trial this so he's not he hasn't gone public with it i'm not sure if he will but <clears throat> yeah. just his i guess experience of that has been yeah that's where the rcs are getting burnt through is how frequently the, the bot is relisting those cards trying to yeah. find that pristine price it's still, um, yeah, yeah. It's still such a good such a good thing mm -hmm. such a good in, service in the onboarding um room in their discord it does say there are lower rc options available for <clears throat> for people but it's all manual at the moment you'd have to let them know like to move you to a, a lower rc option no um, you're able to change that 
Oh, you can do it um, from the dashboard, can you? Yep. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. But I think they, they recommend uh, 50 HP for up to 200 cards or or something. Um, I'm not sure. But, yeah, so I've had 35 in here and I've delegated another 50 to it and I haven't actually checked my RCs recently. I might have to do that later, see how that's chugging along. Yeah. So, yeah, if you go to your name, there's a wrench there, uh, whatever you call it, a spanner, whatever it is. Oh, let's have a look. Um, someone correct me. It's on the top right-hand uh, corner, and you click that. Uh, the spanner here, tools? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, um, the, the big white one. The big white one. <laughs> Can you be more specific? The big it's one. It's on the one. right. Yeah, under, 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 under There. It's, it's right there. No, no. Accounts. It's right there. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. That's blue. No, no. The, the, the spanner underneath the accounts. The, the thing underneath. Ah, okay. No, the, our boxes, our pictures are in the way. Okay. Yes. Uh, that thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and you go aggressive, see? The bot settings, top left. Oh, yeah, so I've got mine unbalanced at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. right. So there we go then. Yep. Cool. Yeah, our pictures. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I figured this out before when someone else, another guest mentioned something. Uh, on your yeah. own screen, when I'm sharing, um, the boxes are sometimes in different positions. So, like, it's not your fault. I just suck at explaining. <laughs> yeah, that's from really. That. Oh, yeah, we'll, I'm we'll just, just no good with, with directions. Yeah, all those in favor, Geo sucks at explaining. Yeah, Make notice sure, yeah. how notice how Boba Fett just let you wear that. Geo tricks and say, Oh, no, 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 it's just like, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, sounds about right. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> The way the he's relationship that, works that, well. that's why we're such good friends. He just he just takes all my shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's cool. But, that's cool. Pay, that, 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 no that, and, and how about Archmage? Is anyone using that or use that? The uh, bot Archmage. Tell me about it. I've only heard good things. Oh, is that, that's the playing okay. one, isn't it? And yeah, yeah. it's on the yeah. Slack's um yeah, uh, Discord yeah. as well. No, yeah, I part of that. I haven't got the CP to, to do that really, so I'm just doing the renting. But um, do, if you know about it, give, give us a no, bit. No, I of don't a know about it because oh. I, I, I was thinking of getting an Archmage um, token, but they're very expensive compared yeah. to when they release them every every so often. And that's if you can get for one the because they release them in limited supply. So usually it's like 25 US worth of DEC or something. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, and if and you then someone snaps one, them up and puts them on tribal decks for twice the price, they, yeah, they yeah. literally. Oh. Five times, and yeah. Like, oh, in wow. like 10 seconds, like five seconds, it, it, they're all gone. Or like 50 tokens or something. It's like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like people were so snipey with it. I can't keep up. It's like, I tried twice and now I've just given up. I'm not doing it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you don't want to get to the point where you've got an Archmage bot versus an Archmage bot. <laughs> just be, just be uh, constant draws happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So what we're talking about... Uh, Archmage stuff. Let's start looking into getting some battles going. We know we've got a chance yes. to, to. Unless does someone have something they want to talk about, discuss? You got anything there on your uh, metal napkin? No, I've only got one one thing left, which is uh, the weariness of the grind. Sometimes some days are harder, like because you have to play more often in the current format. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a couple of days when you when you're really struggling and you and you're having like a busy life. Plus your games aren't panning out in your favor that can yeah. be uh yeah, it can be a bit of a brain strain yeah that's all but, these no, that, that's... Um, all these whales that do uh shift work so as their shift rotation changes um at different times of the day it's like they're battling and you can't win yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah i try to set it for australian times so that are playing against aussies who can't play like me yeah yeah <laughs> you, have, you have a better yeah. chance matt yeah. raises his eyebrows <laughs> Yeah, you know, I know if I lose four in a row, I'll just wait a couple of hours um, and, and try again. <laughs> Take a lie down. The, the time zones. 
differences. It does. It does make a difference. It really it does. does make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're Matt, no time <laughs> is of any any limit. There's no difference. Look, I, I'm mercifully I have the kind of job where I'm sitting here on on the internet at home waiting for a customer to need me. So I just play while I'm working and. Uh, it works out pretty well, to be honest. So I've got that awesome. eight hours a day that I'm, I'm already working, right? Somebody else is paying me to sit there. Uh, I'm ready to work if it comes in, but if it doesn't come in, oh, I'll just pick another team. So I, I do tend to, and sometimes I don't even notice, and it's been seven hours, and I've lost the last 12, and I look at my RCs, <laughs> my it capture rates, and I'm like, oh, it's getting close to 50%. Uh, but then I've also got, you know, nine nine champion chests or something. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'll... I'll leave it alone for a day or so. So yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you say about the grind. If it was all I was doing, then I think I'd be a little bit meh. Uh, but when you're doing something else and you're, you're otherwise being productive, and then you're also being extra productive by playing, mm -hmm. um, that ticks a lot of boxes for me. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. All right. Okay. All right. So who's, who do you want to battle first, Jagged? Um, well, we have to do the, the host first, don't we? Set the Boba Fett effect. All right. Is uh, it mandatory? You, on, you on laptop or mobile? Uh, laptop. Laptop, sweet. So you can actually battle Matt then as well. All right. <laughs> okay. So which account are you playing on? Jagged or 71 um, or something? Or? Jagged 71. Jagged 71. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, gold okay for you? Yeah, well, anything's fine. That's yep. okay, except for champion. I can't do that. Yeah, well, I just definitely... We should both have a go at champion. <laughs> It'd be funny <laughs> as. Well, you, you've got upgraded <laughs> summoners, though. Your summoners are pretty pretty good. Uh, I've got you've, a max... You've done a lot of work investing in them. I've got a max daddy, but he's the only one. Uh, and then I've got a couple of level sixes. All right, I sent you a challenge for, for gold. Yep. That's so right. I got nine minutes before I say I accept. Is it? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those people that just wait, just make you wait while they're yeah. selecting their team. And especially when you're trying to get one last battle in, you've got like two minutes left of the focus and like you're waiting, waiting for them to pick their team. It's like, come on. <laughs> all right so we've got back to basic oh god here we go why do i why one. does this always happen to me back to basics evens and 15 uh, mana cap oh uh, you get the gnarliest stuff I, match ups. I always get low manners when we do this always get the low manners the combat rules are not in your favor no <laughs> wow a tough one yeah it's so vanilla you know it really is and this isn't even vanilla this is bloody cyber sex this is this is just <laughs> ridiculous It's actually, look, I see Boba Fett straining there, just contemplating. After this 15 mana and only half your deck and back to basics, you can't even, like, do anything. Oh. Oh, you know, I, I, hate to give, I hate to, I hate to give, the, give the, the plan away, but in back to basics, I love the cards that don't have abilities anyway. We were talking about Nerissa Tridor, uh, Tridorn yep. earlier. Cards that don't have the abilities, they're not losing anything, mm. right? So you're still getting the full effect of that card. Battle Orca, Nerissa, uh, who else is there? There's a few others. Uh, so you're not uh, actually uh, losing anything. <clears throat> no, and that's why I like those cards, because I know they're a no-brainer in Back to Basics, because you're, yeah, you're getting the full effect of the card, the full value yeah. of the card. All mm. right, so let's have a look at this. Um... Okay. Oh, we've got the big guy at the front. Oh, so you've, you've got it. Uh, 
don't know. Uh, one minus one. So he's hitting for two. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, got plus one, so that's still it's going to be three. Yeah, I think mm. I got this. Yeah, you got. I think you got it pretty easy. Having the tanky guy at the front. Oceanus. I think you're. Ready. I think your O'Shannis will die, but I think your your um your centaur up the back will finish him off. Yeah, good speed on the centaur. Mm. Yeah, he's a snipe card. He's one of the original beta neutrals. Yes. Yeah, and such low mana as well. Like it's absolutely it's a brilliant card. It's uh, absolutely love it. Yeah. Might have to look at level, leveling him up to six one day. Man, my, my yeah, yeah. honestly, my card shopping list just grows and grows and grows. Yeah, and I, I, think, I think the life on a is he's just busted, man. I mean, in, in a good way, right? I don't mean it. You know, what level you know. is he? Level two. Level, so that's yeah. another one I need to level up. Like he has yeah. eleven health. Yeah. yeah. All right, Matt, you want to make a call? I'm going to give it to Bob. I think yep. uh, Shannis will go down, but I think I think the centaur will be left standing, as well as uh, the chicken and or the um, uh, torrent fiend. Is it? Yeah, torrent fiend. Oh, yeah, that's it. Done. Not that's even. It. Yeah. Not even. That was good. Good selection there, Bob. Shannis. Yeah. All right. That time I won a game on, on the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really the the whipping boy when it comes to. Uh, the whipping boy. <laughs> our, sh our show battles. All yeah, right. Regular viewers are like, what, we finally got a, an actual battle, one that didn't hit the cutting room floor? <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gio, you want to send one? Yeah. Uh, who am I sending to, Matt? Jagged 71. Jagged 71, sure thing. All right. Uh, challenge. But see again, the mana, Matt. What, what is it? Every single time, like, 12 mana, 15 mana. Um, silver? Uh, is silver what you're best rated for? No, anything's fine. I, I like diamond because I like the challenge of diamond. No, no, we'll do silver. We'll do silver. Okay. Well. He, he plays in diamond league, yeah? What? He plays in How? diamond league. Wait, so you have diamond leveled cards, yeah? No, but I just like playing diamond. Oh, okay. I, I rent. I tend to rent some cards to get oh, okay. my C, my CP up. Yeah. Are but, you using rented cards now? That would be. Okay. So no, he's no, going to no. hit you with a kitty or a Yoden. This is what he's. he's no, no. <laughs> is that what he does? Is it Bob? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean you. Look, You're going to hit me, him with nah, a kitty nah. or a Yoden. I'll do the Halozo Llama. That's what he likes to use. <laughs> I actually want to do silver. Hey, how do you feel about okay. that? That's all right. I'm 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 sympathetic to silver. I quite like silver. I like the AG. All right. Sweet. Yes. Poof. I uh, sent you an invite. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's me. me. Oh, is that why you want to do silver? You're on your Poofa account. No, I, I've sent all my cards from the main to this. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's trample and no legendaries, lost legendaries. Oh, no. What's the mana? Uh, 30. <laughs> Not too bad, actually. Let's see how we go. So what's left in your Geotrix account then? Rentals. Sadness and misery. <laughs> so along the lines. Disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lost hopes and dreams. <laughs> so what are you what are you brawling brawling with then in um in Geotrix? Stock cards. Okay. Stock cards. Standard. Oh. All right. And bring it up to the screen before you share yes um, i'll do that work. the right way you're right there bob the facial expressions really make it yeah it's the best part 
Oh, I missed Mr. Cool, cool Cucumber on the bottom left here. I'm ready to share with All right. Mr. Waller. Okay. I've got to be concerned. Last time when you had to share your screen geo tricks and everyone had to say, just make sure it's clean. I don't know what they meant by that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so tidy it up, which I'm hoping it is. Okay, I'll share it right now. Tell me what you think. Uh, We're okay. still looking at your face. Yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, uh, just, 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 a double hitter, lady. just the okay. rule set, yeah. Mm. The rule set. Ah, yeah, sure. And two speed. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love Narissa. It's great. Ooh. That's actually quite scary. That Narissa. Yeah. I love that card. I think the armor's going to win it for Geo. I think the armor, yeah. It depends on how much of the back line can be knocked out. Yes. Yeah, so um, his, his deep lurker um, is, is going to hit hard enough to take out. I think he's going to do you too much damage with the deep lurker. But Jagged's um, got shields with uh, Kalia. Jerry doesn't have any shields. That's true. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, I was wrong way around. Uh, I was yeah. thinking the team at the top is going to win because of the shields. Sorry, I've, yeah. I've misread that. So I'm actually, I'm actually thinking Jagged. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, I reckon he. Yeah, the heel, the heel this. though, on the back line might help. Yeah, but triage only counts if they're still alive to heal them up. Yeah, <laughs> deep, yeah. deep blank, Not deep lurker. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to Jagged. I think. Yeah. Mm. All righty. Have a good battle. Let's play. Yeah. All right. It's actually really good that you you can talk to the person you're playing against. Yeah. And like like minded there too. Both got the the demon shark. Both got the lurker. Oh, she didn't get a hit. That deep lurker constantly wrecks me. I don't have one leveled and it just constantly wrecks me. Same as the demon shark. Yeah. I love when demon shark gets a bit angry. Gets a bit more oomph. Yeah. When he gets enraged, he's, he's pretty, pretty onto it. Ooh. Oh, I get a trample. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes the difference, mm. I think. Yeah. 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 Got Ooh. Well yeah. done, man. I was not, not <laughs> expecting you to play that. Let's just put yeah, it after you saw how pathetic I was against Bob, by now, <laughs> I felt the same way. <laughs> no, I just wasn't expecting. Yeah, I just was not expecting that. That's all. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Very, very nice, man. Congratulations. Right. Okay. Because right. so now, now I got ah, yeah, limber up for the mat. You'll have to Matt send attack. the invite. You'll have to share your screen, Jagged, when we when you're playing Matt. Okay. Because uh, yeah, he's on mobile. And Matt. Yep, just, oh, just send an invite to Matt Clark. Okay. Yeah. And whatever league you like. Okay. Gonna get my poker face on. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> you don't need one. Strapping his arm to, right. to his to his leg there so he can't go for the the bottom lip tail. <laughs> tail. Yeah. Does he have a tail, does he? The, the, yeah, the, the top lip, lip or the bottom a... lip. The top or the bottom. It's like, well, he's, he's happy or not. <laughs> uh, okay. We've got a 48 mana cap. We have trample is the rule set. Fire, water, and dragon are the only available splinters. Okay. Mm, what to do? <laughs> 48 is a high mana cap. It mm. is. Very high. There's a lot that can be done. So much room. 
so many more options than a 15 mana cap. Ah, oh, you always get the short ends when it comes to I always get the low mana matches. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfair. Oh, Matt's deep in thought. Days. He's deep in thought. And Jag there, just like a statue, just stone face. No, I just do it quick. I don't I don't put too much overthinking into it. Yeah. Choose what's good. Yeah. No, as a spoiler, I've, I've rented out most of my dragon cards. No. <laughs> Matt hasn't finished yet. You got to be careful there, man. Ah, sorry. Matt's no, just cancelling his team and redoing. No, I've submitted. I'm done. I'm, I'm <laughs> submit. I wasn't looking at the. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We're roaring 20. Uh, how do I share? Um, bottom of the screen in green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Share screen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Look, look at how many icons on the bottom of these cards. Yeah. I think you might struggle that your cards aren't leveled. Sufficiently for for diamond because diamond, all my cards are at max. And look at that frost giant. But that's inflation. See, back when I used to play diamond, it was a lot more easier with less tokens on the bottom. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. What's that summoner, Matt? That's Archmage Arius. It is Archmage. That, he's, okay. yeah, yeah, he's one of the more expensive ones. So he, there was only ninety of him ever made. <laughs> And he gives plus one to magic, ranged, and melee. And what is he, wow. eight mana? Five mana. Five mana? Oh, wow. Yeah, mm. yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. You better add him to your shopping list there, Bob. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> I can delegate him to you for a bit, though, Bob. If I go away, I'll, I'll keep Ooh. it in mind and, and delegate him over. You can have a crack with him. Yeah, I'd be open to that, for sure. Yeah, all right, deal. <laughs> wow, look at the deal making going on. Okay, ready to lose. It'll be a quick game anyway. I think I'm going to win it, just be, uh, not even on a strategic level, because I think mm. you've, you've actually got some really good cards here. Absolutely. Um, I was hoping for a bit of, like, a bit more magic blast, maybe, so Lobstradamus could send it back your way, uh, or a bit more um, melee, so my Kraken could retaliate. But I think I'm doing enough magic damage to your demon shark that I'll, I'll roll him fairly reasonably quick while you're still working on my kraken he's got uh, inspire then, there too on the, on the demon shark so there's a plus one yep yep uh, the kraken's so, a very I, popular card in the high levels as well mm, yes he is because he, he directs all your attention there so i know that my my uh frost giant's not going to get attacked except by the demon shark who's a melee card and the, the Frost Giant has, has um, Last damage shield, shield, so he's not going to take as yeah. much damage. And he's, he's also speeds up my whole team, and he's got Trample as well, which could come in handy in a Stampede. And stun. Oh, but and look stun. at the amount of, amount of um, melee damage. So mm. Yeah. And the magic Crazy. damage. Wow. Okay, let's, let's just... Uh, let's do this, yeah. Who do you think will win, mate? Come on. Uh, Matt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, D Dragon Jumper should should do a lot of damage too, because he's just going to yeah. skip around the place and and really hack into basically whoever's your weakest card. Yeah, a well played Taurus makes makes all the difference. It does, yeah, yeah. And that was that was. Lucky for you, I guess. Then that you got resurrected that demon shark because then the the full force of the of the um, was frost taken giant. By the didn't... Oh wow! Oh, what a wow. retaliate! Eight yeah. damage. Whoa, that's yeah. just vicious. At least frost giant doesn't have piercing. I mean, that's that's one 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 plus, I guess. So a more a more leveled DJ O'Shannis here would be a, a problem for me because he has force field, right? So if you hit him for five or yeah. more, he only takes one damage. But because oh, your damage. your O'Shannis isn't leveled, right? So I don't even think you lost this on strategy. I think you lost it because you didn't have the cards to have won it. I'd like to see these cards at max level taking on mm. my cards because I think you probably would have won, to be honest. 
But to be fair, man, Archmage Aris, dude, you're powering up your, yeah. like, your magic to five, you know, dragon jump. Yeah, but that can, that can be counterproductive. If I'd have come up against a max level O'Shannis just now, then I would have been begging to be put down to four magic damage instead of five. Because you don't want to hit that yeah. force field. Yeah. So there's, there's, I guess there's, yeah. Definitely, I'm happy to say I won that, but I'm not sure I won it on strategy. Okay. No, 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 that Good it, game, mate. again, it, it just illustrates the the difference in league. Yeah, because I yeah. I don't encounter many of those level cards, cards in diamond mm. at all. If you're looking for I think stock that's one sharing, of the advantages at I the top have. of the screen in red. I think that's one of the advantages I have too. Is often I'm taking on uh, less so now that we've got modern <clears> or <throat> league has has taken off, but. I'm taking on guys who aren't expecting to run up against a frost giant, for example, because there's just so yeah. few of them out there. Yeah. So I'm finding that as time goes on, a lot of these older cards that are just my, my bread and butter are actually more unexpected uh, for whoever they're coming up against. So they're I less likely to consider it. I use my frost giant and um, reverse speed because he's still low level. So he's only got a speed of one. So he's yeah. awesome at, in, in reverse speed. Yeah, mine also yeah. only has speed of one, but he he does slow, which is sort of a uh, so when I when I want to speed up the rest of the team but leave him as a as a tank, yeah, uh, then I, I use him because he speeds up the rest of them yeah. in reverse speed. And on that, we're almost out of time. Um, so before yep. we wrap up, just want to do a shout out to Sinistry, who won the Chaos Legion pack for the competition that we had. He correctly guessed. Oh. The, the winning Anyone team. Anyone but him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, yeah, congrats to Sinistry. And if you've enjoyed this, the battle analysis part of the show and you'd like us to break down and analyze one of your battles, drop a link in the comment section below. Or if you'd like to be a guest on the show, drop a, you know, in the comments below, just say, hey, I want to come on the show, or whatever, or hit me up on Discord. And every week, the commenter whose comment generates the most engagement will also receive 10% of the post rewards. So like, share, comment, 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 comment. And thank you for joining us on episode 34. Look forward to seeing you on 35. I'm Bob Fett. Peace out. Bye. Bye.